TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high-quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. On this episode, I'm gonna show you what it's like to live with a brand new GMC Hummer EV truck every day in the real world. I'm gonna show you how to prepare it for the fastest watts to freedom WTF mode. I'm gonna show you how to go sideways in the new Hummer. And I'm gonna show you the Super Cruise automated self-driving feature. And finally, a zero to 60 in the real world. So let's go do it. I want to give you a taste of the acceleration and the watts to freedom mode. In order to go into it, double tap of the traction control button. My seat is vibrating. Okay, we got visuals and sound. It's asking me if vehicle will lower. Okay, continue. And so Yes, it's pretty heavy. I mean, this vehicle weighs about 9,000 pounds or maybe a hair more with accessories. Now it's telling me to floor it and release the brake. Oh! That is unreal. <laughs> you could hear the tires chirping, the truck lowered itself and the sound and the vibrating seat and just the whole experience. And this is just impromptu. Here's what I did. Can you see that? 3.68 seconds with two spare tires. Not ideal conditions at all. Yeah, this thing can move. And it's about 50% charge too. To activate crab mode, there's a button right here. Nine o'clock button. Just hold it for a little bit. Aha. And of course you can use it on any surface, but this is just a demo. And the rear steering has up to about 10 degrees of steer. And the front, of course, can steer more, but now they're in sync. And the best way to experience it is really kind of go about, let's see, 180 with the steering wheel. You can accelerate to about eight miles per hour it does feel weird <laughs> you're kind of you're moving forward but also going sideways it does feel a little bit weird and finally going back into automatic mode normal mode four wheel steer is enabled and i can make this very tight turn here for the demo quite easily i, I don't think in a truck this big if it was anything else without four-wheel steering, I don't think I could, we could make this turn. The drive is beginning and the GMC Hummer team says I need to go about 47 miles. It will take about 50 minutes, so mostly highway. I'll be able to experience Super Cruise, which I'm looking forward to. And I'll have 74% of energy left when I reach my destination. Uh, that's nice to know. I'm starting this trip not with a hundred percent charge but about 92 percent so well we'll see how it goes I have at least 200 kilowatt hour total capacity in the battery and there should be plenty for this entire day all right it's an on-ramp let's see the 1,000 horsepower whoa <laughs> uh, the acceleration is immediate and also it gives me a little bit of feedback uh, with the sound system uh, where I'm, I'm asking for power and I can hear um, that noise being generated even in normal mode just normal driving mode nice super cruise is available take a look at this I have a green light on my steering wheel I set my cruise control system and yes the new Hummer EV truck is available with Super Cruise on about 200,000 miles of pre-mapped highways. It will steer for me on these pre-mapped highways like this one, just northwest of Phoenix. And it's slowing down with traffic and just helping me drive. As far as 
Oh look, it's changing lanes by itself. I, I, I didn't do anything. That's pretty neat. So it knows my destination and it knows that I will need to exit towards the left. And look at this. Changing lanes for me right there. Auto lane change, that's pretty cool. And it's connected through the navigation system. I don't have a ton of Super Cruise experience and in this new Hummer, it's the latest system. And here's one instance coming up. The highway splits in two. Uh, the navigation system is telling me that I have to go to the left and the truck is driving itself right now. Of course, I'm paying attention. I'm a... Use the left two lanes to take exit 15B for Arizona 101 loop west. So I don't think it needs to change lanes, but will it actually slow down on the interchange? And will it ask me to take over? Here comes the interchange. It's taking Continue it. on Arizona 101 loop west for six miles. It did not take the exit, which is correct. You know what? This is pretty impressive. It handled the interchange all by itself. Now it needs to change lanes. It says disengaged. All right, on this highway, the Super Cruise is unavailable. It asked me to take over. Of course, electric vehicles are quiet. Electric motors are very quiet. So you may hear other things when driving. Right now, I am hearing some wind. At 65 miles an hour, I am hearing wind. But other than that, there is no rattles, no squeaks. These are removable roof panels. I was a little bit concerned that they might make noise, but right now I'm mostly hearing wind, a little bit of generated sound from the stereo system to tell me that, of course, I am moving, but no tire noise. Okay, we're getting closer to our destination, and the next is coming up, and I'm not sure if the Super Cruise is gonna change lanes for me or not. Let's check it out. Right now it's not doing it, I'm gonna initiate it with a blinker, it listened. And again. And it says unable to change lanes. Okay, I gotta take over. And Super Cruise is no longer available because we're on the side road. Well, there it is. I completed my morning trip on the Hummer. Very comfy ride. The suspension is wonderful on the highway. It was a little windy, or actually a lot windy, and I could hear a little bit of that coming in, but the Super Cruise worked pretty well, in my opinion. And let's talk about energy. It told me I was to have about 74% left, and it's currently about 75% left. So it was fairly accurate. Now, if I go to my energy screen, I should be able to see what my result is. I went 46.5 miles and I used 35 kilowatt hours of energy, which is actually, well, let me calculate that. That's not very efficient. 46.5 miles divided by 35 kilowatt hours. That's including a little bit of air conditioning. 1.3, let's call it 1.3 miles per kilowatt hour. So it's a heavy beast. Yes, it weighs over 9,000 pounds, especially with two spare tires. And it shows in its efficiency. Still, it's rated at about 51 MPG equivalent in the city. Um, still, for a giant vehicle like this, that's not too bad. And, by the way, when it's on a, just cruising on the highway, it's mostly using the front electric motor. So it's really a front-wheel drive vehicle when it doesn't need, you know, high performance and or it's not off-road. The new Hummer truck is very comfortable on the highway. The Super Cruise system works really well, I found out. The charging speed, well, 
not great. I did not see that advertised 350 kilowatts. Uh, still pretty decent, about 170 to 180 kilowatt charging speeds in the real world at a random station at a random time. That seems to be pretty good. And of course, acceleration and performance is just incredible, even with additional weight, extra tires in the back. So let me know what you think in the comments below. This was my first taste of the new Hummer. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com, tfloffroad.com, and tfl-studios.com for everything automotive.